Kande Yunkela is spoken of as the future Secretary General of the United Nations. Previously a trade minister in his native Sierra Leone, he heads the United Nations Organization for Industrial Development. And we also have one of the most influential and best known businessmen in the United States, Chad Holliday, Chairman of the Board of the Bank of America. Mr. Shuri actually is somebody who shares your passion for trying to bring technology as a way of furthering women's interests because our next guest on One Day View is Kande Yunkela. Now before joining the United Nations, he was Minister for Trade and Industry in his native Sierra Leone, seen by his admirers as one of Africa's brightest stars in the international community. He's now head of UNIDO, the United Nations Organization for Industrial Development. <laughs> Welcome to Rendezvous. Thank you for having me. So um, when it comes to spending, are you a selfish male spender or do you, you've got two children, I think, yeah. uh, do you make sure that you spend it fully on the family or does it all go to your fine suits or whatever? Actually, I work and she spends the money. She has access to all the accounts. I just she makes sure that I deliver the checks. She gives you um, um, a, a, just a little allowance yeah, to share. Yeah. But what Sherry said, the studies are, are true. When you give women economic empowerment, the first thing they think about is the home and the children. They'll spend the money on this education. I mean, I, I have friends who will tell you stories that thanks to their mothers selling on the markets in West Africa, they went to school. And they will come back from school and they have a tray waiting for them to go out again and sell and expand the sales. Mm. So part of this, those studies are true and they cut across cultures and, and, and regions. And what you try to do at the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, I must say, that sounds very... <laughs> a bit stodgy, does it? Industrial development, but you do an awful lot of things. Don't you? you try yeah. to, for instance, push women into entrepreneurship, working in the private sector. Yeah. Again, like should be, you think that's a way of empowering women? Yes. Well, generally, our, our belief is that you can't reduce poverty without creating wealth. So, and, and entrepreneurship is crucial for that. And so when we look at developing countries, we're trying to promote structural change to help them modernize and create more entrepreneurial opportunities. And in this case, yes, we do target women a lot. But when you look at um, African economies, for instance, I mean, I know you deal with the whole of the world, but obviously your Sierra Leonean particular interest in Africa, you see that um, agriculture is very, very important. That lots of people say, oh, this has been neglected over many, many decades. And I think 80% of the um, agricultural labor force in Africa yes. is female. So you're talking about bringing industry and technology, but don't you need to just give them the basics, the fertilizer, the seeds and so on? You need to give them the fertilizers, you need to give them all the technologies. Fertilizer itself is a technology. The women also are very crucial in the processing. We estimate that for some food products, the women do about 80% of the processing, the harvesting, the handling, the storage, and then the marketing. So you have to look at the supply chain and determine what kinds of technologies would help these women, but also the financing. And but many I, times I, we neglect I, that.